All right, guys, got quite a rare laptop, and this is a 17-inch MacBook Pro, uh, but not only that, it's actually got the 2.8 gigahertz i7. Uh, these laptops can only be upgraded to eight gigabytes of RAM. However, what I am going to do today is upgrade to a solid state drive. It's got a 320 gig uh, hard drive in it, which is a decade old at this point. Um, so this is definitely gonna help out a lot. I did go, ahead and get a 512 gigabyte uh, only fitting that I go with a slightly larger one uh, given given how cool this laptop is so uh, without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in the first thing that you're gonna do is take off this bottom cover here looks like this one's missing a couple of screws here um, but essentially you're gonna look at the four screws along the bottom four on the top and then the two on the sides here and you'll remove those with a double zero Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, it looks like I actually have a nice surprise here. This laptop was advertised with a 320 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, cool thing is, it's actually got a solid state drive already in it. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull this one out, see what the capacity is, uh, but the upgrade procedure is pretty straightforward. You're gonna remove these two screws, which will allow you to get to the hard drive here. Be careful when pulling this out. There is a ribbon underneath, and it's very easy to tear. Okay, you'll we'll remove it just like that. And it looks like we've got a 240 gigabyte solid state drive. So that's pretty cool. Still gonna go ahead and put this brand new 512 gigabyte one in here, but pretty neat that I already had this one in it. You'll remove all four of these little side screws. They are a T6 Torx bit. and replace in your new drive. And then when reconnecting, make sure that you line up. This is your data, this is your power. Same thing on the new solid state drive, just like that. And then when replacing, it's gonna kind of shoehorn in at an angle and then you'll just press it down and we'll be able to replace this, which will hold it down. If you have one of these 17 inch MacBooks and it has not already been upgraded to eight gigabytes of RAM, most of the ones that I see already have eight gigs, uh, but if it hasn't already been upgraded, you wanna do that now. It's a very easy procedure once you have the lid off. Uh, and this uses PC3 8500 RAM. It cannot support seven, uh, 16 gigabytes, unlike the older Core 2 Duos and the newer second gen and newer uh, i processors. These first gen Core i processors can only support eight gigabytes of RAM, unfortunately. Uh, that said, even today, uh, eight gigs is, is still adequate for most, for most users. So um, definitely still a very viable machine. Gonna go ahead and clean this up very quickly. And I'm gonna actually be replacing with brand new screws. Uh, I, I like to do that because these are very small, easy to strip. Um, and so, sometimes the, the heads on the old ones have already been kind of mangled up a little bit. And these are, these are very cheap uh, on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace with brand new ones here. Okay, once you've installed your new solid state drive, you can go ahead and boot it up and command R. Okay, so I've got my SSD, the one that we just replaced. 
the 17 inch has uh, a second hard drive, which we didn't touch. We're gonna keep that one as storage. And then I'm gonna reinstall Mac OS. And I'm gonna put this on the solid state drive, obviously, so that it's nice and fast. Make sure you select your solid state drive. And from here, you follow the prompts to install your operating system. And then you've got a decade old 17 inch MacBook Pro that is still very viable uh, today. So thanks for watching guys, hope this helps somebody.